بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Uh, the lecture is about development change from child to adult. Uh, this lecture will be presented by Dali Ibrahim Wajalla, Assistant Professor of Clinical Chemistry. Objectives of this lecture. By end of this lecture, the student will be able to discuss growth and develop uh, development of children, identify the importance of growth and development, define growth and development, mention the principle of growth and development, list factors affecting growth and development, mention type of growth and development, and identify the stage of growth. Gross. What is gross? Gross is referred to an increase in physical size of the whole body or any of its part. It is simply a quantitative change in child's body. It can be measured in kilogram, pound, meters, and inches. Here we can see the stages of uh, gross uh, one year two year three year four year and five years uh, the size of the child is gradually increased uh, change also in bodily proportion with age uh, th so uh, when the child is small uh, the, the proportion between the head and uh, the rest of the body uh, is different from when when it is a child the head is uh, larger in size than in adult development development refer to progressive increase in skills and capacity of function it is a qualitative change in the child function. It can be measured through observation. So, um, growth can be measured uh, by units, uh, while development uh, only can be measured through the observation. By understanding what to accept during, uh, what to expect during each stage of development. Parents can easily capture the teach teachable moment in every single life to enhance their child's uh, language development, intelligence, gross, social development, and motor skills. So, uh, when we understand these changes, we can expect uh, exactly uh, things that can this child do during his period of life. بمعنى آخر كل مرحلة من مراحل نمو الطفل عنده مقدرات معينة عنده skills مهارات معينة فبمعرفته إذا تمكن الوالدين بأنهم يتعرفوا عليها بالتالي بيحددوا سقف توقعاتهم من الطفل فلذلك لابد من معرفة مقدرة كل, طال كل طفل في كل مرحلة من مراحل عمره عشان ما نتوقع منه أكثر من اللازم بالتالي نحس منه بالتقصير أو الإخفاق Maturation The maturation is increase in child competence and adaptability It is describing the qualitative change in structure the level of maturation depends on the child hereditary. Principle of gross and development. The gross and development are continuous uh, process, predictable sequence, do not progress at the same rate, uh, high uh, period of growth in early childhood and adolescence, a low, pe low period of growth in middle childhood not all body parts grow in the same rate at the same time 
each child grow in his or her uh, his or her own unique you uh, or unique way each stage of growth and development is affected by preceding type of development so uh, here we must be careful for not comparing uh, any child with other uh, because المقدرات بتاعت كل طفل مختلفة عن التاني فبالتالي في المرحلة دي الحتة بتاعت المقارنات دايما بتجيب مشاكل نفسية للأطفال principle of growth and development growth and development proceed in regular related direction to follow coidal head down to two or proximal distal center of the body to the peripheral central or general to specific so الفكرة بتاعت النمو بتكون from من الرأس إلى أصابع الأقدام this is the direction اتجاه النمو أو من الداخل إلى الخارج from the central to the peripheral وكذلك بيبتدي النمو الجنرال بعد ذاك بتجي الحاجات التبدي يعني بتدي النمو العام بعد ذاك بتجي النمو أو تطور الأشياء الخاصة فيجب هو head down to two central of the body to the peripheral general to specific here we can see this in this diagram from head to down central to uh, prefer the child pattern of growth is in a head to two direction or cephalocoidal and in an inward to outward pattern called proximal distal factor affecting growth and development hereditary environmental factor prenatal environment um, these include Factor related to mother during pregnancy, like nutritional deficiencies, diabetic mother exposure to radiation, infection with German measles, smoking, use of drug. Those are called factor related to mother during pregnancy. Factor related to fetus malposition in uterus. And faulting placental implantation. Those two factors are related to uh, the fetus, and uh, the two factor factor related to the mother and factor related to fetus. Uh, uh, the two factors are uh, part of prenatal environmental. Postnatal environmental include external environment. Social, social economic economic status of the family, children, nutrition, climate and season, uh, child ordinal po position in the family, number of uh, sibling in the family, family structure. So uh, this is uh, uh, environmental around the, the child. Well, this is include. Uh, socio socio economic status اللي هي متمثلة في الحالة الاجتماعية والاقتصادية للأسرة uh, التغذية الخاصة بال بالطفل المناخ التغيرات المناخية ترتيب الطفل داخل الأسرة عدد الأخوان number of sibling in the family and uh, family structure uh, it is a if it is a single parent or extended family and this is affect so much in the development of a child is a kind of usra usra mahduda or usra mumtada fiha al-am wal khal wal jid wal habboba fa da kullu bi asir fi nimu al-tifir now we are going to internal environment this is include child intelligence hormonal influences and emotions. 
five of gross the gross can be um, physical gross or physiological gross when we talk about physical gross we uh, here we talk about uh, high uh, weight head and chest uh, circumference اللي هو الطول الوزن حجم الراس and مساحة الصدر uh, while the physiological gross this is include the vital signs vital signs heart rate um, um, vision um, type of development the development uh, include different type like motor development cognitive development emotional development and social uh, development period of growth any child or any uh, uh, fetus is uh, developed through this period of growth from neonate to late adolescence uh, this include neonate infancy toddler preschool school age children early adolescence middle adolescence and late adolescence each period have a specific feature and there is a development of uh, some characters or some characteristic different from the other period of growth now we can see it in details neonate uh, this is a period from first four weeks of life features or uh, first four life four weeks of life um, in other words it is hadisi al wilada ودي بتشمل الفتره فتره الاربع اسابيع الاولى بعد الولاده the feature of this period beginning independent living the physiological regulation ability and adaptation to circumstance are very poor the morbidity and mortality are very high health care needed enough nutrition proper nursing care and prevention of disease the second uh, cross period is infancy infancy is a period up to one year of age more than four weeks is, and uh, four weeks and uh, up to one year this is called marhila tatifula here the feature are rapid growth period fastest brain growth nutrition and energy requirement are more digestion and absorption function are poor passive immunity gradually drop health care enough nutrition prevention of disease and uh, basic immunity after that uh, is the start the toddler uh, period this is from one to three years of age one to three years of age here the features are gross become slower more vigorous contact more objects intelligence develop faster poor ability to to identify damage health care uh, enough nutrition prevention of disease prevention of accident here في المرحلة دي هنا الطفل بيبتدي يتعرف على البيئة اللي حوالينه بيكون أكثر حركة فبالتالي هي مرحلة فيها الخطورة بتاعة حدوث الحوادث بالنسبة للأطفال Here we can see the toddler safety become a problem as the toddler become more mobile in this period the uh, child is become more mobile uh, uh, activity activities is more those also are toddler preschool this is a period from 
3 to 6 years of age, the features are growth becomes slower, more mature intelligence, strong desire for knowledge, limiting adult behavior, poor ability to identify damage, character forming, health care needed, enough nutrition, prevention of disease, prevention of accidents, and it is a period for training for good habits. The preschool uh, period, this is a period when the child can um, training for good habits. This is uh, the image or picture for school or preschool children. School age children, this is from 6 to 12 years of age. The features are growth become relatively steady, more mature intelligence develop, increasing desire for knowledge, decreasing incidence of disease, the health care is enough nutrition, prevention of myopia and dental care is prevention of problem in uh, uh, psychological emotion and behavior. So this is the, uh, the period uh, during the school's years, it is a start from 6 to 12 years old. Here we can see it's called school age uh, children. The last period is adolescence. This is a start from 12 to 18 years old of age. The feature here, the second fast period of growth and development, neurocrine regulation and steady. Having, having problems in psychology, emotion, and uh, behavior, health care, uh, enough nutrition, uh, and also they need adolescence uh, education. Uh, this is a very important uh, period of life, and uh, the adolescents need uh, education about the life to, to improve their self. Here we can see the um, ad adult or adolescents, the age from 18, 12 to 18 years old. So this is all about the period of growth. Thank you for good listening and see you in the next